Let's be honest, mountains are really tough, which is why I'm gonna give you an awesome hack on how to make your own mountain mixture color so that way you can dominate mountains from start to finish. So let's dive into it. Hey all, Wild here to help you on your creative adventures. First time here, need a little bit of hand-holding or perhaps inspiration? Got you covered. Hit that subscribe button down below and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. If you're an oil painter or you do the wet on wet technique, doing mountains is one of the funnest things to paint. However, making them look good is very difficult. So let's make it a little easier by showing you the perfect mountain mixture color that you should be using from start to finish. This is a great little hack to make sure you have big, bold, beautiful looking contrasty mounts so that way when you put snow on it, it's gonna glisten across. Now, if you've watched any of Bob Ross or Bill Alexander, you'll see they generally use the same combination of colors to make their mountain mixture, which would be a combination of black, Van Dyke brown, alizarin crimson, and Prussian blue. And if you mix all these together in equal proportions, you will get a nice mountain mixture. However, it leans towards the slate gray side because Prussian blue is so powerful. Let me show you what I like to do by knocking down the proportion of Prussian blue to get yourself a nice rich grayish black that's gonna make your mountain stand out against that glistening white snow. Now we're gonna keep this real easy. We're gonna use the same exact colors. Any version of black that you have out there, ivory, midnight, basic black, that's all the same. It works just fine. Plus a lizard crimson, Van Dyke brown, and Prussian blue. However, when we take these all in equal proportions, we're actually gonna half the portion of Prussian blue as we mix all of our colors together. Now, when you mix colors together to make a mountain mixture, you more or less wanna make sure that it is thoroughly mixed together. You don't want it too marbly because we wanna have the same consistency for when we put the color on our mountain and pull it down against that liquid white or liquid clear, it's gonna have that natural gradient as it dissipates into that background color, which is what you want because that's gonna add to the effect that things are in the background and in the distance. So just make sure when you take your palette knife, you mix it all the way through, give it a nice few swirls, perhaps even flip the paint over and make sure to pull it nice and thin and flat when you grab your roll to put your mountain on. Really cool side note for all you out there. If you get a mountain mixture color that you're just not happy with, hey, you can change it. That's the cool thing about oils. Take any one of the colors we use for our foundation of mountain mixture and add it in there. Hey, if it comes out a little too red, add a little tiny bit more of Prussian blue. If that makes it too purple, you can knock it down by adding in some Van Dyke brown. If the colors aren't rich or bold or black enough for you, hey, you can add a little more black or blue to enrich the contrast color. You can always change your mountain mixture by just using the base colors of what we had, which is really cool because this will allow you to customize your painting for what you want the feel and flow and style to be for your landscape. I just wanted to give you that little tidbit because people feel like, hey, if I do equal proportions, I should stick with that. No, it's your painting. Do whatever you think is best. I'm just laying the groundwork and you can experiment from here. Now you're probably thinking that was an easy video and you're done and no, I'm not. I like to make sure I'm super thorough for you all. Now, if you want a different type of colored mountain, perhaps you want that slate blue gray, all you need to do is take that extra portion of Prussian blue and add it into your mountain mixture and do the same steps. And when you apply this again, your white background, you will get a beautiful slate blue gray color that looks gorgeous in more muted or winter scene style of paintings. This is also a beautiful color if you like to do things like river rocks where the rocks are peeking out of the water on the riverbed side. So, you know, I gave you two options there. Well, I'm still not done. What you can do with either one of these proportions of colors here is add white into the mountain mixture. I recommend cutting your portions in half have one be dark and have one be light. The reason is, is like we said in another video about how to paint better mountains, which I'll put in the top right corner here, you wanna add depth to your painting by making things be more contrasty, which means things in the background are gonna be lighter and as they get closer, they're going to get darker. So if you add white paint 
to your mountain mixture color, it's going to lighten that color up on the gray scale, which means you can put that mountain in the far background, add your details with snow, then take your other portion of the darker mountain mixture color that we had and throw that in front for another mountain and boom, you created beautiful depth in space within your painting by just adding a slight color. This is an awesome tip for any new painter out there because most painters generally just use the same color when they do one mountain and then the next and then the next and that's how it looks flat. We need to make your two dimensional painting look three dimensional and when you can do that, that's when you're gonna achieve awesome, beautiful things. If you're still watching this video, I've got an awesome little bonus tip. So thank you for watching to the end. Now, if you make your own mountain mixture color, a really cool thing you can do is buy empty tubes and mix up your color and put it in this tube. So that way you're ready to rock and roll anytime you do a painting. I'll put a picture of what they look like up on screen. I can't show any of mine because I keep my own version of liquid white in there that I like to use. They're cool, they're fun, they're fairly cheap, but they're messy. So make sure you wear gloves whenever you make your own mountain mixture and put it into these tubes. Now, if you're not into making your own mountain mixture color, hey, you know what? You can buy it and it's fairly cheap. I'll put links in the description down below, plus all the colors we used in today's video to make your own if you are interested. By the way, all those links that you click through help support my channel. So thank you very much. You're all rock stars. Now, since we talked about mountains, you're probably still struggling, which is where I come in super clutch for you. I'm gonna put a video over here to the side that shows you all the common mistakes that you make while doing mountains, along with a video at the bottom on the proper way to hold your palette knife so that way you can be a mountain master.